Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in uh, this whole video we're going to look into Virgo Sun, Moon and also uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading February 21st up until February 27th, uh, 2022nd, and uh, if you are not interested into your draw and you want to skip right away into the reading, uh, you can do that by using the timestamp in the description down below. Uh, other than this, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and uh, you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads, nor as well a uh, live streams. All right, so with that being said, moving right away to the draw, the first card that you do have, Virgo, that uh, stands for the Three of Wands. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have uh, the Six of Wands, followed by the third card of your spread, which stands as uh, the Four of Pentacles, uh, followed by uh, the fourth one, which is the Four of Swords, and uh, the final card of your spread, Virgo, that happens to be uh, the Devil. All right, so we do have a solid progress here, especially in the first half of your week. But how this is going to play out coming up next in the uh, reading itself. All right, so you can see your spread on the screen here, Virgo. And uh, oh boy, that week. This, Virgo, is going to be a week of accomplishments, rewards, recognition and in generally efforts that are coming into fruition and as we do speak about efforts uh you can see efforts coming in in uh in the fruition here with uh, these couple of cards sitting right at the start of the week and it's because what they show here is a a continuous work or or a thing you are trying you are trying to develop in the past few weeks or in the past few months whatever it is at the start of this week you are to see it sitting on well established patterns very well defined foundations in generally we can call it that you are gonna have it in the back right there and if you are happy with its state at that stage by all means i mean you can leave it like this and just enjoy it probably for the rest of your life because the rewards are going to come very very quickly after and the rewards we see here with the six of wands which speaks that <clears throat> your solid efforts and development are going to produce results and not just only uh and, and yeah it's going to produce results not just only results but also should you need a fellowship for example you are a social media influencer you can expect that fellowship to uh, increase in a rather large extent for what we can see in the cards but that's besides the point based on your efforts you are to uh, receive the rewards that accompany that are accompanying reciprocally your efforts and as well your efforts are going to bring you to a peak of experience uh, at the very early stages of uh, this week in other words you are going to feel amazing right there seeing that everything pays off or rather like that what you are working on right now it's it's about to pay off so that is the moment for example of your promotion or of your raise or of your bonus or of the establishment of your relationship it is right there at the start of this week and again it is because of your solid efforts uh, now of course these efforts does not come without any expectations from your be uh, from your behalf you do something you toil on it you have an expectations all of them kind of met but you are going to also sit in front of a choice here at the very start of the week and i already said that are you happy with how the thing stands or you want to go for more because you definitely can go for more but in order to do so you gotta make a, a, a challenging move or rather like you have to challenge yourself to exceed the bar of your current limitations or of your personal limitations that you think you have but you can uh, be way way more above that or rather like you you have way bigger capabilities than, than you may think you have at the very start of the week 
So needless to say here, uh, Virgo, you're going to kill it into your career. You're going to be on fire into your social circle. And should you be looking for anybody to date with, th th these cards predispose that you are going to attract people like there is no tomorrow, hands down. Uh, one thing I need to warn you here, though, it is that while this is going to feel like you have accomplished something big and that will be true, okay, but you ca you are bound to, to something bigger and therefore that accomplishment happens is going to happen to be just only milestone. It may look like it is a grand achievement, but it isn't. It's just a, a milestone. And you're, uh, by the way, that, that's why I'm very pleased seeing the Four of Pentacles here at the middle of the week, because that card shows me that you are going to realize that very quickly, even if at the start <clears throat> of this accomplishment, you, would, you may find yourself wishing for nothing more, but like said again you are going to very very quickly understand that, that is just a milestone and you are bound to go for so much more and for that reason at the middle of the week you are going to take um uh, uh, measures for maintenance or to um how do how do you call it a no not consecration oh my god um to basically sustain it, consolidation. So you're going to start making approach toward a consolidation to consolidate your current accomplishments and achievements so they do not fall apart should you decide to kind of like not just only go for something more but also start doing a different things like establishing new beginnings or taking on a different tasks at that point. So here at the middle of the week we can see you... Um, setting your either career romantic life why not your entire life into a very comfortable zone that it is sound and secured taking any precautionary measures possible so that thing is defended and it's its future literally is insured so here you are to ensure your certain and secure future of the milestone the accomplishments that you have reached at that point and those accomplishments are to be developed even further. And this is as far as your material week goes because after that it seems that you are going to have a moment of respite in the second half of the week. You can consider your own and that you can do whatever you like there because we, for, for one we do have the Four of Swords but for second we do have as well the Devil and in a very superficial level the Devil it is when you just you know you you examine your yearnings your desires and you just go forward with them and you can get away with whatever you want to do unscathed at, at that point and the four of swords gives an incentive of peace and uh how can i put it into words and calmness as well so the second half of the week is going to be pretty peaceful not much thing to do in the material world unless you do not strive for that with the devil at the end okay but uh it's going to be very spiritual half of the week uh, for that matter and, and this is where you are going to reflect on the achievements and the milestones you have accomplished in the first half of the week thinking of how you can cash in on them okay what, what what make what comes out of them as well there are many ways that i can give you an examples how this is going to play out but i'm going to leave that to your situation to give you the uh, uh the physical example of it but what you can expect here is that at the second half of the week you are you're going to experience little to no plights and concerns as well and uh, i'm sorry about that Ow. But, as uh, this time is going to be this peaceful, peaceful without plights and concerns, uh, make no mistakes uh, that uh, that is just a temporary, um, temporary state, temporary situation. Because later on uh, in the future, in a month or two from now, uh, they are to return. But you can definitely use that time to think about how you are to tackle with them. Instead of having to deal with plights and uh, and concerns, you, my friends, are about to deal with your own 
wishes, desires, and yearnings as we do have the devil there, uh, putting a really, really good thought into what kind of a, what kind of a thing you want to do, what you are hungry for in general. Are you hungry for love, or are you hungry for money, or are you hungry for uh, I don't know for uh, for attention, whatever your hunger is, and based on these. Um, milestones that you have accomplished they will give you the incentive to feed that hunger and that's why the second half of the week is very spiritual because you are going to the, uh, contemplate and reflect on that how you can do it in the best way that you do not harm anybody around but in the same time you are completely completely satisfied and this drive is going to be a drive to power uh, on uh, some practical levels you can expect that in the second half of the week you are also going to pick one individual out there, one that you do consider being very loyal, being very faithful, being very um, reciprocal to you, and share your experience with them through a verbal conversation. And that way, together, you can kind of like uh, compile the the aspects of uh, your situations and, and pretty much figure out the best way to act and again to cash in on your uh, um, on your accomplishments. And uh, with that, this concludes your reading. It's going to be a great week. And uh, again, at the very start of it, uh, all of your efforts are to be paid off there, either from your boss or from the person you're chasing, whatever your case is, and you are going to feel very, very well. Just don't dwell too much into it because that's just only a milestone uh, other than that you can go for so much more and uh, yeah hopefully we're going to see each other next time and until then bye